I'm once again, I mean, congrats. And I thought your work was so incredible. And um, your practice is um, as varied as it is. And your ability and your ex willingness to sort of go into different um, realms of making, I thought, was extremely exciting to witness. Um, I'm going to kind of actually just spe specifically talk about one work. Um, um, and so in the act of, and I'm going to read a little bit, um, because I also think the value of what you're doing is important. In the act of making, drawing is one of those foundational practices that at times can seem so basic that it is one of the last spaces we are conditioned to think that innovation can happen. In our culture, it is generally viewed as a sketch, a lesser version of something of more value to come, such as a painting, or when on its own, a way of showing um, how proficient one may be at reproducing maybe a face or a horse or what's in front of them. But in drawing, I find artists such as David Hockney and Albert Olin using computer and technology have made some of the most interesting innovations um, in art making over the last few decades, dealing with many of the technological pressures that exist today. Um, we are in a society where our relationship with technology feels increasing, in, 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 increasingly pressing because of AI and this question of, is it going to replace us? So when I saw unerasable traces of you, um, I thought it was a wonderful example of how something as foundational as drawing can meet the technology, meet the challenges of new technology today and do something as fundamental as claiming our, how we exist and that we exist as human beings. Um, here, Sophia uses technology and the body to push the possibilities of how a drawing can be formed. She's literally removing her hands from this, from this from fundamental practice. Um, how a, she's also explaining how a body, how a drawing can be a recording of a body's presence in space. Sophia's practice has so much material potential. It was exciting to see rich of these many roads. It is exciting and will be fascinating to see rich of these many roads of exploration she chooses. And I hope she continues to choose as many as as many as as possible. And looking at the sophistication of her work, one can tell that she's clear, she clearly is very passionate and clear-headed, thought, thoughtful and very and very, very importantly, balance about how to explore her interests, which is essential for a long and wonderful career. So I believe this award is one of many more to come as she continues her practice as a maker. Once again, thank you so much for sharing with us what, uh, such a wonderful bodies of work. Sophia? Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, hello. <laughs> um, thank you for uh, the introduction and uh, thanks uh, to the Even Juris Prize Committee uh, uh, for this opportunity. I also want to take the opportunity to uh, thank my home uh, university, the Academy of Fine Arts uh, at, uh, in Helsinki, <laughs> um, for always supporting my uh, ambitious ideas. Um, I am delighted to have this opportunity to present my selected portfolio. Uh, in my artistic practice, I embro uh, embrace a conceptual approach, uh, and my works often use uh, questions as a, some sort of a starting point. The more abstract, the better, uh, because it allows me to continue to ask and deconstruct uh, my own understanding of the subject matter. This conceptual exploration often leads me to cross different uh, disciplinary boundaries, and I enjoy experimenting with uh, unconventional combination uh, of different techniques and materials. 
I always try to turn different parts of the concept, materials and techniques uh, back and forth to continuously challenge my perceived uh, understanding of what they really are in, uh, in an effort to find new ways of expre press expressing and further developing uh, that original idea. At the core of my artistic exploration lies a deep interest in uh, humanity itself, uh, and I examine the intricacies of our existence from both a narrow and broader uh, perspective. All these aspects can be seen in my works, uh, which I have chosen in my selected portfolio. This work, uh, titled uh, The Unra Unerasable Traces of You, uh, attempts to draw the visitor by erasing with uh, chamois cloth and then to overwrite uh, the revealed figure with charcoal. This is a continuous process and the plotter draws a new layer for each participant on top of the previous ones. The resulting image becomes a chaotic blend of the de depictions challenging the idea of individual identity and what about it is to be seen. The next image can show this. Yeah, perfect. This is copies. Uh, it consists of a hand-built full-body 3D scanner and a projection of a 3D version of the calorie space. The work gives the viewer the possibility to participate and making uh, a 3D model of themselves, uh, which is then placed in the 3D gallery space, which can be seen. The models live, live freely in the virtual space and make their own choices where to go and what to do. Uh, this gives the participant an opportunity to observe a version of themselves in a third person objective perspective and the others to see the memory of the past visitors in the gallery. And then the next image. Um, this is black box, a box inspired by the functions of black box from airplanes. Uh, it consists of a small hand-built pen plotter and draws using light uh, on a photosensitive paper. I've used this box for two separate projects. Next image. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> demanding. 